Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a modern mansion mountain base in Minecraft. If you're new around here and you love these kinds of builds please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all of these videos sent directly to your sub box and I'm sure that I'll be making stuff in the future that you'll love. Well, without any further ado, let's get started. So just before we start building ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that you are going to require to make your modern mountain mansion. Please make sure that you have access to every single one of those and enough of them as well. The amount of space required to make your modern mansion mountain base is a 29 by 24 block area. You are more than welcome to make a grid similar to this one on the side of a cliff face or a mountain or a built up area. Just make sure that you've got enough room to make it and you should be good. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to. Make sure that you have all of that stuff. Make sure you've got enough room to make it. And once you're ready, we can begin. All right, Modern Mountain Mansion friends. Come all the way up to the top left-hand corner of the grid. Count right by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is the starting position. If you haven't made the grid, just start somewhere in the middle of the top of your mountain slash hill. This block right here, I want you to place a grey concrete. And place five more going right. One, two, three, four, five. I then want you to go down by twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We're then going to go left by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to go all the way up. And this is going to connect all the way back to where we first started. This is the centerpiece of our modern mountain mansion. I want you to extend all of those grey concretes forwards by two rows. So, every single one of these. It doesn't really matter how you accomplish this as long as they all get extended. But this is kind of the centerpiece for the modern mountain base as I already mentioned. The reason that we're making this first is because it makes all of the rest of the base extremely easy to make. The base may have seemed complicated from the thumbnail or even the start of the video, but I assure you it's actually incredibly simple and I should hopefully be able to make it as easy as possible for you. Once you have placed your in total three rows of grey, we had one and then added two, we want to place a layer of block of quartz inside of the grey concrete shape that we made yet one row outwards. So coming outwards from the grey concrete rectangular shape that we made, we want to have a slightly smaller version using some block of quartz, like this. It's actually quite a cool effect and I like it quite a bit. Perfect. Inside of the shape we are going to place some glass. I think that we're going to use some blue glass block. Alternatively, you can add a layer of glass pane to the outer part, or you can add some glass pane inside, or you can place glass 
like right here on the outside, it's up to you. But as long as you get a cool sort of depth effect like this, I don't think it really matters what design choice you go with. Okay, so the next thing is this. Come all the way up to the top left hand corner of your quartz block. Count downwards from here, you want to go down by 1, 2 and 3. In front of this block we want to place 2 quartz stairs, 1, 2, like that. They want to be sideways and facing that way. Coming out from the second quartz stairs, only the second really, you want to place upside down quartz stairs and then a regular on top. An upside down quartz stairs on the inside, a quartz slab on top, go left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You want to place an upside down quartz stairs underneath, sideways one coming out the side, an upside down one underneath, and a sideways one coming out the side. Place three block of quartz coming down, one, two, three, and then an upside down one underneath, a sideways one coming in, an upside down one underneath, a sideways one coming in, and then we are going to place underneath this a quartz slab, and we want to go right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. To which we will then place a sideways quartz stairs on top, an upside down one to the right, sideways on top, upside down to the right, and connect upwards using free block of quartz. Now, you will end up with this shape right here. Very, very simple shape. All we now do is add a layer of grey concrete inside of this. If you begin by placing grey concretes behind the inner quartz stairs, so not the ones on the outside, but the inner quartz stairs like this. And then if you join them together at the corners like so, you should quite logically be able to see where you would then continue to connect them together. Like this, at the tops and bottoms and the outsides and all of that. The end result should look very, very similar to this. And as you can see, it's as easy as that. What do we do next? Well, what we will be doing, and we'll probably do this all in one go a little bit later on with all of the other parts of the build. I'm going to extend all of the grey concretes backwards to connect to the mountain. I will then also extend all of the quartz blocks to connect backwards to join to the mountain. We will make sure that there are no gaps, no holes, no nothing like that. And then once that is done, we will focus on the next oval shape. Every time that we have one of these sort of oval shapes using the grey concrete and the quartz blocks of all sorts of varying times, represents an additional flaw on the inside of our build. We also want to add glass to the oval shape. I like to use glass block set one block backwards in relation to the grey concrete. This creates depth upon depth upon depth. Quartz, grey concrete's behind, glass is behind. Very cool effect. What you will then do, and again, this we're only doing it with this one right now. We will be doing... Like, we'll be batch doing this later, I'll explain what I mean by that. But we want to extend all of the quartz together back to the, uh, back to the mountain. I, when it comes to the top of these, I actually kind of, sort of, like a little bit of grey concrete involved. You might want to have something like that for the tops of these. Or you may feel as though that you kind of want to just, like, fit, com just completely fill in the tops. An additional option is to leave some of the top open like this. I mean, how much of the top is up to you, you know? But you could add some natural light in here by forging some glass into the top of these. Again, there's many options. 
But I do want to show you what one of these looks like, all nice and cleanly done, hence why we're doing this first. When I referred to that we were going to be doing these in batches later, we're going to make the outlines for every single one of these, and then we will do all of this to all of them at the same time. But I want to get one of these done first, and then we'll do them all kind of like methodically. So, as you can see, it's quite a nice, clean design like that. It joins to the mountain perfectly. Now, once you have done this once, ladies and gentlemen, it's quite easy to do it again and again. So... I want you to make your way to the stairs that we last placed, okay? So this was actually the last upside down stairs that we placed before we connected this together. The bottom right corner of the oval if you like, right here, this block. Well, I want you to come down by four rows, I want you to count downwards. One, two, three, four. You're on this fourth block, right? Move across to the right so that we are here on the opposite side quartz block. Here, you want to place a sideways quartz stairs. Let's make sure that's right. From this quartz stairs here, one, two, three, four, across quartz stairs here facing sideways. To which we would then place another one in front of it. We place an upside down quartz stairs to the right. Sideways, quartz stairs on top, upside down to the right, quartz slab on top, extend to the right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, place an upside down stairs underneath, sideways right, upside down underneath, sideways right, three block of quartz coming down, one, two, three, then an upside down quartz stairs underneath. Then a sideways one coming in. Upside down stairs underneath. Sideways coming in. Slab underneath. Left by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sideways stair on top. Upside down one next to it. Sideways stair on top. Upside down next to it. Quartz blocks coming up. The end result will be this. Very nice. We then want to place our grey concretes. Begin by placing grey concretes behind the inside corner quartz stairs. Don't focus on the outside ones. Place a simple grey concrete block in each one of the four corners and then logically connect them together on all four sides. Up, down, left, right, you guys get the picture. Like this. What will that will leave us with is that. Now, I'm a man of my word, so what we're now going to do, now that we have the shell of that one, we're going to add the last one, and then we'll fill both of them in together afterwards. So, I want you to come down to the bottom left-hand corner quartz stair. This is the last upside-down stair that we placed to complete the shape. And from this block, you might already know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. You want to count down from this block. One two, three, four, and then left across, and coming out of the same block just on the opposite side, you want to place a sideways quartz stair, and one coming out from it. We are going to do that one more time, just to make sure that that is indeed cracked. Okay, so from this stair, we move down by one, two, three, four, across, just like that. Easy as that, ladies and gents. Well, from this quartz stair, the second one, of course, we want to place an upside-down quartz stair next to it. A regular one on top, sideways, of course. Upside-down one coming in. Quartz slab on top. Six going left. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then an upside-down stairs underneath. Sideways coming out. Upside-down underneath. Sideways coming out. Three block of quartz underneath, one, two, three. And then an upside down one underneath. Sideways coming in. Upside down underneath. Sideways coming in. Quartz slab underneath. We go right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We place a sideways quartz stairs on top. 
upside down to the right, sideways on top, upside down to the right, connect upwards using block of quartz. As simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. We then have to place our grey concretes behind the inner corners of quartz stairs. Only the inside corners, that's all you've really got to do. You place a corner block connecting all of them together. And then you join them, up, down, left, right, and maybe back and forth, I don't know. But all that matters is that we end up with the exact same shape that we have been using the entire time. What we now will do is we will create what we have up top down below, because that's as many ovals as we're making. If you haven't gathered, you could even extend this build if you wanted to. If you have a much larger mountain, maybe even one that's even slightly bigger, you could keep building down and down and down. You could even make it like a hybrid cliff slash like water base. That'd be insane. But anyway, we have to extend all of the grey concretes backwards to meet the cliff face, to meet the mountain wall. Why do they call it a face? I have no idea. Mountains aren't very expressive, or at least I don't think so, but I want you to extend all of the grey concretes backwards. Another possibility is that you don't have to extend any grey concretes backwards, and you can just extend the quartz areas backwards. It'll give you a little bit more living space. It'll also make it a, bit, a little bit lighter inside. However, the reason that I chose to extend all of the grey concretes backwards in the original version as well is because it kind of makes the house a bit more random, especially on the inside. Like, it, it makes it a little bit stranger. Don't forget to add a layer of glass, one row inside of the grey concrete. You can add pane or block. I, I'm a big fan of block, I don't know why. I've kind of turned over to block rather than glass pane. Additionally, you want to extend all of the quartz blocks backwards. So again, if you did want to save your time and some effort, and if you did want to make the area a little bit bigger on the inside and a little bit brighter, but a little bit less interesting, honestly, then you can just extend the quartz, block with, bl quartz blocks backwards, and you don't have to focus on the grey concrete at all. But, again, that's, that's your prerogative. I'll leave it to you. You can even undo some of this later. You can knock out the grey concrete. A cool thing about having, like, a double wall, as I'll call it. A double wall because you've got, like, the layer of grey, and then you have the layer of quartz, is that you can do cool stuff to the wall on the inside. Have we sealed all of the gaps? Because that's the most important thing. I do believe, in theories, but also, I do believe, and I'm going to create a little bit of natural light in here. I'm going to have that, like, that blue glass here. Just extend back, just because just I think it looks a little bit nicer. Perfect. So now, we have two of those. And then there was one. And of course, we're going to do the same thing to this one. But you know what, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So when it comes to this one, right, if you want to, you do not have to extend back the grey concrete. You can just extend back the quartz. I like to give you guys different options. Even if it's completely different from what I like and from what I've done, even if it kind of goes against the tutorial a little bit, I like to give you guys choices. Because at the end of the day, Minecraft is a highly customizable game can kind of do whatever you want, which is the cool thing about it. If the colour materials, or if, you know, the way that I'm building a particular part of it doesn't suit you, then change it. And that's what we're doing here. So, as you can see, no grey concrete. You will be able to see the difference quite a bit, but it does also make these stairs a lot more important. So here, and we want to do here too. And I still kind of want... I kind of sort of still want the skylight, so I'm just going to place a little bit of grey in the top of this, like this, just so that it looks nice like that. But you'll be able to see that the room's slightly different, and now that the, the glass is kind of floating a little bit on the inside, which again, that that's some more problems as well than what you might expect. And additionally, you'll have a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap unless you rectify that with your quartz stairs. But again, it might be worth it to you. You might be like, "Oh wow, I, I really like that." So you know, do with that what you will. We've got gaps here. It really is a game of like hide the gaps. <laughs> um, oh, we've got to add the glass inside, haven't we? We were doing that. Um, 
It's it's a very small change. It's a very minor change, but you know, ha, minor, Minecraft. Anyway, very minor change, but uh, a change nonetheless. So once you've done all three of these, and you can see the difference between that one and the other two, then you will be left with this. And you can see, like, on the insides of this, it's a bit more structured with the grey, it's a bit more shapely. The quartz is a bit more room, it's a bit lighter and brighter. Pick your poison, it's completely up to you. Well, now that we have done each one of the three sort of, I'll, I'll call them rooms, it kind of, that signifies where the rooms are. We now have to add the... <laughs> The balconies, the outside balconies onto the area. So, we have to do this on each one of the three levels. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. So, what I want you to do, on the side here, starting from this bottom left-hand corner quartz slab here, I want you to extend the slab outwards by four. One, two, three, four. And I want you to do the same with every block coming up in the chain. So, all of these stairs all of the quartz blocks and all of the slabs that you may encounter, extend them all outwards by four. Coming up about as high as may be here. The choice is yours, but I quite like it to come up about as high as here. Like, it's not quite in the middle of the side of the, uh, of the like, the room, but it's, it's probably about there. Now, what is the significance of this, you might be wondering to yourself. Well, the point of this is that we now can extend out the quartz slab here, out to the right, hang on, <laughs> out to the right, and you can line it up with the very right side of the build, which is here, right, so it spans the width of the build, you can then extend and connect the quartz slab backwards, like so, and then you can fill it in. Now, why would you possibly want to fill it in? You might be wondering to yourself. Well, the reason that we are filling it in is so that we are, can create a balcony. These balconies will directly join to the tops of each of the previous rooms, which may make it so that it perhaps it was a little bit silly to add skylights into some of them, but it is kind of like a cool roof feature anyway, so I don't really regret it too much. Like, the, the more interesting features and stuff that you have inside these rooms, the less the normal they are, the cooler that they'll kind of look. But, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when we flip over to the original in its very weird environment, and you'll see what I mean by weird environment as well. But the end of the game is this. This is what we have tried to create, which is a really cool balcony area so you can walk out from your house and you can take a look at all of this wonderful landscape well we're going to round it a bit on the edge so here i'm going to urge you that you probably knock out like this you knock out the middle block here in the corner the two next to it and then another row so just like that we actually destroyed a little bit one more so you'll have something which looks like that right then all we would do is we place a little bit of glass pane going all the way around. Like this. And there is one more feature. Oh, and by the way, convert the end where it would connect the balcony. Convert the stairs into a block. And then it will it will join better up like that nicely, right? There is one last thing that we are going to be doing to each platform. But I want the platforms in place first. So now that we've done that to the top, we have to do it to the middle. And of course, the bottom. So, as we come down to the middle, we do a similar thing. We start off with the bottom right-hand corner, it's always the outward side, the bottom right-hand corner quartz slab here, and you place four coming out. One, two, three, four. We're gonna stop here, so I'm gonna mark this out as well. One, two, three, four. You could, by the way, you could do it higher. You don't wanna connect to the previous platform, but you could, like, come up to the stairs or something, you know? Again, customizability. That word sounds real to me. So, we're going to extend all of the platform outwards by the same amount, four. Feel free to change that as well, maybe make them different, I don't know. We are then going to extend the quartz slab across the side of the building until it is even in width to the actual size of the house, like this, right? So you can see it stops right up here. And then we're going to extend this quartz slab back to connect to the mountain. 
to which we will then fill the bottom of this in, and this is quite a lengthy process, but it has to be done. We will then fill the bottom of this in using quartz slabs, like this. And then once we have finished this, and again, this does make my skylight idea seem stupid. But maybe we'll even take a look at it just before we go, and we'll see whether or not it actually does look that dumb. We can't really leave it exposed because we're going to be adding a little structure to the uh, platform. Onto every single platform where the actual skylight is. So That is the platform that we have created. I'd recommend rounding it, which means you knock off this corner, two next to it, three next to it like that. And then you place a bit of glass coming all the way around like this. And it will join over here to the stairs, which you will then want to convert into a block. The end result is pretty nice. You see, as we slowly come down, like it looks better and better and better. You really do need the balconies, otherwise it looks... Well, I mean, it still looks fine, but not as good as with the balconies. Let's do this one more time. And this time, by the way, is going to be slightly different. I, I might actually build this into the detail for once. So, all the way down at the bottom, we're going to start off as usual. We're going to take the bottom left-hand corner quartz slab block here and extend it outwards by four. One, two, three, four. And every block we will extend it outwards by four. Every single one of them. Like this here, here, and then coming up as far as there. The difference here is I want to have a pool. It's kind of like a really cool pool at the bottom of this. It splits the build up a little bit. I want to place grey concrete in f like next to the outwardly extended quartz. And the grey concrete is actually going to overhang by one row as well. I'm going to extend the grey concrete backwards to connect to uh, the quartz slab area here. And then I actually want to extend the grey concrete all the way over to the right. And I think it wants to go to the right by 15. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll then extend back out by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We want to place a couple of rows of grey underneath this as well. So, 1, and then 2. Again, just a couple of rows. You could even connect to the ocean if you wanted to. That'd actually be kind of sick, actually. I uh, Again, I kind of like the idea, and I might even have to make it where you have kind of like a hybrid cliff ocean base. That sounds kind of super villain, right? I love it. Well, we're going to extend the bottom of this towards us by three rows. One, two, three. Place some quartz slab in front of the third row at the top. Place a bit of glass block behind the quartz slab on top of the last row of grey. And then fill it in using water buckets. So, just like this. And this is just kind of like a cool pool lounging area. You could make this larger if you like. But, I kind of found for myself, if you extend out too far in front of the bills, it looks a little bit goofy. But, that's, that's kind of how it looks at the moment, which is pretty cool. So, all we would do is we would take the grey concrete here on the right that is connected to the glass and you place a quartz slab coming out from it and then you place one coming back to the right back to the right back to the right is that good? no, once more back and to the right join to the wall right we're gonna place some glass paint on top of all of these quartz slabs right like this and on this opposite side too, we'll even make this stairs into a block. And you can see how that all pieces together, like it's quite a nice shape, it all goes together rather well. We will then have to fill in the gap in between, we'll have to place some quartz slabs. Now the quartz slabs extend backwards from the quartz slabs that we just placed. And they also line up with the top of the pool, so it's quite simple really, we just extend them all back. After this, there is only one major construction that we have to do regarding the outside on each one of the three levels. But it's actually quite easy to do, but it, it's one of those things, it, it really does just kind of make a cool difference. 
I might even want to like fill in under, whilst I'm under here, like a car mechanic on one of those like skateboard things, maybe I'll just kind of like, you know, take a look, there we go, yeah, that's, that's all nice and smooth everywhere, I think, yeah, that's not too bad, so, this is what we are left with so far, which looks great, again, like, doesn't that look cool, it's all fine by itself, except it's not, it needs one more slight alteration slash addition, grab yourself the grey concrete, I think we're starting with the grey, Come all the way up to the top level and we have to do this on every single side. I want you to, coming up to the top right hand corner, grey concrete, all the way up at the top here on this side. I want you to count down by four. One, two, three, four. And then in by one. Place three grey concrete coming out. One, two, three. Join down to the platform. Fill the middle of this in with... You can add doors to this part at the bottom. Fill the middle of it in with glass though, like this. To the right and outside of the gray, I want you to place a row of block of quartz that is equal in height, which will then connect over to the left using quartz slab, like this. We can then extend back the quartz blocks backwards to connect to the mountain like this. And then you can fill the top of this in with either glass or some, you know, grey or whatever. But the point is, it kind of just adds a little bit of something to the shape. You can see the difference. It really does add something like kind of really cool to the shape. I really do quite like it. Drop down a level. Do a similar thing. So, starting from the top here where we have this grey concrete here, right? We're going to count down by three this time. So, from here, one, two, three. Move in one and place... Free grey concrete coming out. One, two, three. Join down. Place doors with glass on top. Preferably glass block. Place block of quartz coming outwards out the left side. Quartz slab on top. Join the quartz back to the wall. You can join the grey back to the wall if you'd prefer. Doesn't really matter. And then I've read glass or grey. Again, it's, it isn't matter that much. It's more of a design thing. And again, it, it rounds off the build a little bit, right? It just it makes it a little bit more interesting. As we come down to the lower level here, we're going to do a similar thing. So from the top, we're going to count down this time by three. One, two, three. Move in one. Place three grey concrete coming out. One, two, three. Join down. Double door at the bottom. Glass on top. Like this. Quartz block coming out to the right, equal in height, quartz slab coming across, easy as that. Seal up the area using a mixture of slab, and you know what, this time we're gonna go crazy. Grey concrete, just like that. Also, by the way, when it comes down to the bottom here, we're gonna alter this slightly. So, you can see where we have these block of quartz here, where the shape kind of stops, right? Actually, do I like that better? I kind of sort of like that. I might leave it. It's, it's a bit different from the original. So in the original version of this, right, I had it so that these qu block of quartz here, they were gone. Block of quartz here on the right, here on the left. So like the shape just keeps going, right? So like from the top to the bottom, it, there wasn't an end per se. And then right down here at the bottom, I wouldn't have gray concrete. I had glass. Now, I will leave that up to you. Do you like that better? Oh, I do like that better. That looks better. It just looks as though it keeps going and going and going. That looks that that looks better. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what your modern mountain mansion will look like. It's a pretty impressive build. I mean, you're kind of like just floating along in the ocean as you as you do, and you come across this thing. It's insanely impressive. What we will now do is show you we I don't, who else has shown you but me? I don't know why I took we in there. We together as people, friends, subscribers, all that. We are going to show you how to do the inside. It's really simple. So, the inside of the build, you make it as big as you want. Extend it back as uh, literally as far as you want. Let's say, like, you want to do this on every single floor, by the way. This go goes without saying. Every single floor, you want to knock into the mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Like, that's quite a lot, right? Let me pop a potion or something, because I, I cannot be... I cannot be walking around in the dark. I can't stub my toe, and you guys know how painful that is. It's horrible, so let's pop one of these. Right. 
So, the amount of space in your house is really up to you, is what I'm getting at. You dig back as far as you like. You make the rooms as big and as cool as you like. You make them huge, you, you, you make them small, you make them different shapes. I'm going to be showing you some inspirational... Ins inspirational image. I'm going to show you some inspirational footage from the original version, but that's how you go about it. So, like, you just open these doors and start digging. You don't want to dig too far. You don't want to... So, like, for instance, you don't want to go so far back that you knock out the back of your mountain. Like, my mountain, like, if I... I can go back quite a bit further. <laughs> the pigs need rescuing. But if I keep going so far, I'm going to pop out the back of the mountain, right? That's no bueno. So, you want to make your house as big as the mountain will allow you, and as big as you want to make it. You're going to want to connect all of the parts together, too. The first thing I'd do after you've figured out how far you want to go back, is I'd knock across the front of the build and see exactly how far you can dig along, and, uh, ha and connect like all of the parts of the mountain base together. And again, I do want to point out, this is all personal, like how big, how big the rooms are, how the place is set out. But this is how you'd go about getting started, because I know that some of you guys would be like, well, where do I even begin? This is crazy, this place is huge, what do I even do? Well, this, this is it. You start off by knocking out all of the front area, so you know where the walls end, you know where they start. And you extend the sides of the build backwards. So, like, this is where the grey concrete is. Extend it backwards into the wall, the designated amount of space that you have designed. So, like, here where we have this quartz. That's how far we're going to go back. And I'll make it so that the, that the actual wall is also quartz. Right? To keep things consistent. So, that's kind of how we're going to do things. That's how you can determine the space. That's how you can determine the shape. Or, you don't have to do any of that, and you can kind of just want to do what you want to do. But these are just some ideas. So obviously, after a while, you're going to have... Let's use some magic here. You're going to have dug out the entire area. Wink. And just like magic, this is the sort of area that I have dug out. It very closely mimics the shape of the outside of the modern mountain mansion. Which doesn't mean to say that you can't dig it out even more and make it a much more aberrant shape, make it completely different, but if you're kind of looking for an easy way out, just dig around the sort of outside shape that exists. And if you were to then like add in the floors and walls and roof and, um, well, let's see if we can work some more magic. So this is what the house will then look like if you add in floors and walls and ceilings and if you generally obey the sort of outside colour scheme, bring it on inside and if you kind of adhere to the shape of the outside a little bit, like it'll look more natural and a little bit more interesting but feel free to go with a different colour scheme, a different build pattern, feel free to make it a lot more strange, feel free to expand out a lot on the inside but again this is ch kind of just an easy guide to what you might want to do if you don't feel like putting loads and loads and loads of effort in if you just copy the outside shape and extend it back then you'll be pretty good and of course we are lacking rooms we're lacking floors we're lacking a way to get up and down to different levels of the house but that is where you come in you will have to make that decision for yourself. You see, that is how you will do an individual room, right? That's all nice and pretty much decorated. It's a blank canvas. You then want to do that down here. And then furthermore down here, you want to do the same thing to all of the other floors. And then you connect them together using a staircase, depending upon where you want to put it in your house. One last thing also, before we move on and I show you how you might want to decorate it. When it comes to getting up and down and inside of the house, the way that I like to do it is I like to have a ladder somewhere around the inside of the top floor. And this ladder will simply take us to the surface. So you're going to want to dig up as high as you have to go, all the way up to the surface. You of course want to have a ladder so you can get up and down. And that is how you will get into your modern mountain base. So you can see that there's not really another way unless you just drop down from the top, which is possible, although dangerous. I hate to think of how my kneecaps would feel taking a little bit of a fall like that. But the other way is just to simply have a nice little hatch up here at the top, and then you climb your way down into the base. And that's, that's how I would have it. 
All right, and that and that's it. That's pretty much it. So this is what the house will end up looking like as we leave it now. All of the floors are done. We have the entire structure of the house built. We have the top floor interior done. That's where we're leaving it at the moment. However, we are now going to flip over to the original version of this house and I'll show you the inside of it and maybe you'll be able to get a little bit of decoration inspiration or maybe some floor layout ideas or something like that. So let's do it. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is the original version. I know, it's not exactly built on a real mountain, but hey, I, I guess I'm pulling back the curtains. Sometimes this is what you've got to do to design some houses. All right, well, anyway, let's take a look. So let's take a look at this bad boy in all of its glory. We'll work our way from the top all the way down to the bottom. So we're going to enter the house in the actual proper way, which is all the way up at the top here. You'll have some sort of entrance via a trapdoor or ladder or something like that. So as we enter the house, you'll see that I have the house divided into particular sections. This section is kind of like a nice greeting area. Got a, got a fire going for some reason, some armor stands where you can hang your armor. Plenty of smelting going on. We can grab some food. You can smelt some of your valuables, chuck them in some chests. Plenty of storage, plenty of smelting area, plenty of light. As we come inside this area, we kind of have like a nice little wall decorations. We have uh, a nice place to sit. We've got an enchanting area, hidden little ender chest up there at the top. And as we come down, onto the second level, you'll notice that the staircase is in the corner. That's actually consistent on every side. Now, as we come down the staircase, we've got more chests on the wall, more light, some glass. We have paintings nicely decorated. We have some modern designs. We have plenty of storage. Uh, we have some more modern art. I like to keep it nice and bright and interesting. We kind of have like a little tinkering bench over here to mess with some redstone. We have an area here. Plenty of brewing. Plenty of storage again. Nice and bright. Kind of keeping to the shape of the house. Dividing it into nice logical areas. We've got uh, a hidden set of armor just in the wall there. As we come out and we start thinking about going down to the next level. We've got another staircase here. It's a little bit different, but it's in the, in the corner again. And again, more glass, more modern, more storage on the walls. Uh, plenty of decoration. We've got uh, a pretty cool area here. We actually have a little fish tank built into the wall. We have plenty of beds on the wall. We have places to store armor. We've got an enchanting upgrading area, crafting. We've got another room here down below. Again, a bit more of an enchanting and upgrading crafting area. Lots and lots and lots of decoration, lots of modern, lots of utility and just kind of like lots of little fun things as well, like the fish tank and kind of like lounging areas. It's, it's a nice relaxing base. And finally, of course, we have the pool, which hasn't changed. And, uh, well, that's, that's kind of the house complete. And that's it, guys. That was such a fun tutorial to make. It's been such a fun house to design. I hope that you've enjoyed it, too. If you have, do remember to hit that like button as it helps me in the channel out very, very much. If you are new around here, do please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And not only that, if you want to make some more modern designs, some more modern mansions and stuff, then please check out the card system in the description below. That's where you'll be able to find all of these. So if you want to make more stuff like this and more like land-based houses and uh, tree houses and all sorts of stuff, all modern stuff, check out the card system in the description below. And I'll even leave a link pinned at the top of the comment section too. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good.